Hi, I'm Jonathan Snyder, Chairman of the Ohio College Republican Federation. Coming to you from the road today, we're down in Marietta this morning and uh, heading down to the Leading Ohio dinner later on this evening in Mason. You'll see us down there as well. But uh, we're here with Chairman of the Marietta CRs, Mike Gordon, and uh, Mike's got uh, some exciting plans. They've been doing really well with recruitment. We've got some upcoming events. You guys have an event this Tuesday uh, to do with healthcare. You're debating the Democrats? Yeah, uh, we're actually having an event that we have down here. It's called Pizza and Politics, which is basically to get everyone on campus, even if they're not interested that much in politics, to kind of entice them with pizza to come watch things. So we're going to have a debate with one of our members, debating one of the members of the College Democrats, and it's going to be moderated by one of our political science professors to you know try to get people in, even if they're not completely interested. Maybe they like the teacher, or maybe they like pizza. So hey, something. One or the other. Right. One or the other. Right. Yeah. yeah, something's going to tell you. Yeah. What do you guys think? You know, is, what's the environment on campus with healthcare? Have you really heard a whole lot of talk about it, or you know, what do you think people feel? It's, it's actually quite a popular idea, and that's how we were able to get this event. People have been talking about it a lot, even if they don't seemingly know a lot about it, they want to know something about it. So yeah. this is a good opportunity for everyone to kind of get involved. Even if they don't really have an opinion, we're going to try to make them have an opinion after Tuesday. Very good, very good. You, said, you were telling me earlier, too, your recruitment's been going really well for you. Right? You had about 65 you know, around last fall during the presidential election. You said this year you're, you're pretty close to that, right? Yeah, we're actually around 50 people right now, which for a campus of around 1,000 to 1,200 people, that's a pretty good percentage per capita. So we're pretty happy with that, and we're going to continue recruiting efforts throughout the fall and in the spring. We're going to hit it hard, too. Very good, very good. And uh, you guys have a pretty good relationship with, with the county Republican Party as well. Can you talk about you know, how they support you guys? Uh, Marilyn Ashcroft is great, and uh, Leslie Haas, who's one of one of the uh, leading people in this area, dealing most, mostly with a women's group that deals with Republicans, she's great too. They both are always in contact with me. They'll send emails, Facebook messages, whatever it takes. Uh, they help us get contacts, and they help us try to get volunteer opportunities to be involved with local meetings and things like that. So uh, whenever we really need something, they're always there, at least for getting us in contact with someone who can help us if they can. Yeah, I'm sure that means a lot, especially since I don't think you're going to get a whole lot of support from the university itself. Right? Yeah, we get absolutely no funding from the college itself, right. being a private institution. So if we're going to make any money, it's going to be blood, sweat, and tears of our own. So <laughs> that's the way it goes. Very good, very good. And you were telling me too, it's not just the healthcare thing. You guys are also kind of talking about global warming a little bit later on this year. Yeah, we're going to be taking part of the uh, cinematic tea party talking about the global climate change. We're going to be uh, playing the documentary that they're going to send us. And I'm not quite sure what's going to be involved in it yet. Yeah. I've watched the trailer, but yeah. I don't know how much that really gives. But hopefully it'll maybe take some people's minds off of healthcare for a little bit so they don't get blitzed with it. But it'll give us you know, something else to talk about. Yeah, something else to talk about, something, some other way to get out you know, conservative message. Uh, one of the other things that, uh, that I think is important is obviously you know, volunteer work you guys helping out with any candidates or kind of pinpointing anything looking forward? At this point, we're going to be uh, starting with Washington County Republicans getting ready for Kasich's campaign. They're already pushing that pretty hard. Yeah. And we're also locally trying to do things with our uh, campus Circle K group to try to do just volunteer work just to get our names out there to show that, you know, you know, Republicans do care about people, even though some people think they don't. That's a stigma we're going to try to get over. You, you know, as I travel to say, that's one of the things I, I seem to run into that how the Republicans are really making an effort to get out and do some community service and show that there's more than politics. I think, you know, you think that's one of the tenets of, of CRs that people don't often see. Yeah, that's, that's something that we've been pushing really hard since I've been chairman is we're going to try to get our name out there. It's not just about politics. It's something that's, you know, it's a, so, a social thing. It's not yeah. just, you know, vote for this candidate. We want this person to win. It's something about, you know, we do care about people. That's why we're here. It's because we care about people and we care about people's lives. So one way to do that is to volunteer. So that's what we're trying to do. Phenomenal.